All right. So did we go up and wait? Yes. From last week, right? No, yeah, we didn't. We don't have. A, yes, we did. So we went from 29 to 35. Well, this was the 20, yeah. 27th or 28th. Yeah, and then last <laughs> that week was we the did the field day, so we didn't do weights day, last so week. So we didn't do weights. So okay, we're good. It's gone up. So here we go. All right. Okay, we're going to set our cover off. We smoked the front entrance. Uh, you can see we got bees up here in the front. A few hanging around here. Jim's going to smoke that down. Gently take this off and set it right here in front so they can walk in if they want to. Now notice that you had a lot of bees up by this front entrance here. And you can see how much traffic you're getting. Look at how yellow these combs are getting. That's pollen wiping off of their feet onto the comb. We want to take this one out. So these outside frames away from the feeders should be pretty much empty. Okay, we got the frame number one, two, three, four, five. And it's drawn out and they're filling it with nectar. What's the other side look like? Same it's thing? Empty. It's yeah. empty. empty. It's empty. All right. Starting, starting to get some white caps on it, so they're starting to you draw want to turn this or leave uh, it? Yeah, we should turn it. So we're going to turn that because they're filling it up with honey and it'll slowly work its way to the outside. Okay, you see how Jim's pushing these up? When we move them back, they'll all just slide right back. Okay. Cap brood there. We should have some eggs and larvae right in here. Yeah, it's full of eggs and larvae. Okay, so now, if you look here, it's kind of not, they filled the back because it was cooler air up in the front. So they did a little bit more uh, work back here because it's a lot warmer and in the hive and they don't get the air from the front entrance. But now that it's warming up again, they're back working it all. But look at how nicely they've drawn it out. This is a good sign that we're having decent weather to draw a comb. There isn't a half inch gap down there. Okay, so technically here, that's the first frame of brood, okay? And let's look at the next one. Oh, that's, gorgeous. that's beautiful. There she, there is. she is. A nice looking Caucasian type queen. And if you'll notice there, there's not a lot of hatch out going on here. But I will tell you two days ago, I was out here in front of these hives at about one o'clock. And this one here started having young bees come out and do their circle in front of the hive, the orientation flight. The next thing you knew, they just all fired off. That's beautiful. So that was probably the last frame laid with cap brood all the way across. Nice. Another good one. Nice. Now, we got some young bees hatched right here. You can see it. See how fuzzy it is? And you got one hatching right here. As you can see they're digging at the cap. So, brood is starting to hatch. It's been hatching ever since we had uh, field day. There was a few, and now it's really accelerated. And you can see here, if you look at these, look at all the 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 uh, way those holes are those are bees have hatched out there because those holes are rough around the edges okay look at that You can see all those holes in the middle look like they've all, uh, young bees have started hatching. So we got a pretty good hatch getting ready to start. Got a lot of cap brood in here. You notice we didn't have a super amount of- uh, You wanna turn this way too? Uh, no, cause it's gonna it? stay to the outside with the honey in You wanna leave this feeder yeah. in? Yeah, for now. Okay. So we're gonna leave the feeder in in case we need to feed, but we got a week of nice weather coming on. Look at here. While Jim was handling those frames, nectar ran out right there on top of the feeder. And pollen. Yep, and pollen. 
So that happens when we turn the frame. Now the pollen gathering doesn't really start till it's about 55 degrees outside. Now what'll happen next week, we come in here, this frame right here, one, two, three, four, five, should be fully drawn out and they should be working on this one. And what we'll do is we're getting prepared. We don't need to feed them here, but you might need to feed them in your area because we had lots of honey here and the backside of this was honey. And until all, we have a major, major hatch there we probably don't want to feed them again because all they'll do is start plugging out, okay? But the queen's over here working this way. This is going to start to hatch and she'll work back, okay? Pretty nice. Can't complain about that hive. So we're still uh, maybe a week to two weeks away from needing a second box, but we'll see how they do after the we have a couple frames of bees hatch out. And you notice how Jim puts the, the lid on there. You turn and let the bees move away from you so you don't squash them. They have been liking using the top entrance as we noticed when we moved them. That's it. We're good.